no hand-to-hand -hand combat, no cutlasses, no blunderbusses, no weapons. PvP only if the other player has it enabled. You can't walk on your own ship. You can't anchor your ship anywhere. You can only dock in predetermined locations. You can't swim. <laughs>Yo, what's going on, people? I couldn't let this slide. Um, I've been keeping track of um, this game called Skull and Shit for the past, I would say when it first got announced, which was probably three years ago. This game has always been on my radar, and I was interested at first because I'm pretty sure everybody wanted a pirate game after Black Flag came out. So after Black Flag came out, we all was hoping and being like, okay, Black Flag 2 maybe? As soon as this came out, as soon as we saw the first trailer, we automatic automatically had a thought process about this game. Like, okay, this is gonna be like this is gonna be like Black Flag 2, but better. There's gonna be sword combat, there's gonna be like ship raids, there's gonna be boarding, there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff, right? Like a normal pirate game would have coming out eleven years after Black Flag did, right? That's just common sense. So that's what I was thinking about. So the reason why I can't let this go is because the shit show of this game needs to be studied. Because it just tells a bigger story of what's the issue going on in this industry to begin with. Let me dial it back. Skull and Bones first trailer drop when it comes to explaining what the game actually is. And when that shit came out, a lot of people were worried because we was like, what do you mean there's no ground gameplay? What? Um, no hand-to-hand -hand combat, no cutlasses, no blunderbusses, no weapons. PvP only if the other player has it enabled. You can't walk on your own ship. You can't anchor your ship anywhere. You can only dock in predetermined locations. You can't swim. It's yo hover. Quadruple A. What do you mean there's no sword gameplay? You telling me we can't fight people? Are you telling me we can't swim? Are you telling me we can't fish, hunt, go to settlements, do all this type of stuff? All the shit that you would think the same studio that made Black Flag would do for another pirate game, you would think that it would be that but better, right? That's just common sense. Let me tell you how stupid this sounds. Let's just say God of War, right? The basis of God of War 2 to 3 is light years when it comes to the difference. That's just like God of War 2 saying, you know what? Instead of adding new game mechanics, like, um, you know, bigger boss battles, higher fidelity graphics, more characters, more adventures, more dialogue, more, you know, into the story, more investments, all, all that type of stuff, right? Fuck that. Get rid of the, um, get rid of the combat. Let's just see if Kratos can just swim. Let's just, let's just have a game to where he could just, just go on the water and just swim. What about the fighting? No, fuck the fighting. What? When you play... A God of War game, you expect to get God of War, especially with the next game. You expect to get God of War, but better, right? That's just what normal people think. When you already have a game in your studio called Black Flag, and it's a pirate game, and it has pirate ships, all the same thing that Skull of Bones advertised, but you take away 50% of what we played before in a pirate game that you came out with, and you just say, fuck all that, nope, just ship combat, and it's going to be a live service too. What the fuck were you thinking? That's why I said, I cannot let this go. I can't because I've been talking about this for a while. I'm, I'm constantly going to shit on this game because this game is a is a testament of AAA studios shooting themselves in the foot strictly because of budgets. And I'm going to tell you why they're doing this shit. But I want to check this guy. Guys, I want to check this video out because this video perfectly explains what I'm talking about because I can say it. It has a bigger impact when it's actually shown. So courtesy to this guy up here called Nick T Tech. Nick Tech. I think that's how you say it. Came out with a video saying that these two games are 11 years apart. Without further ado, check this out. We're not going to watch the full thing. I just want to get you guys a basis on what's going on. Watch this, because this is going to blow your mind. It looks nice, doesn't it? For, for 11 years ago, this looks pretty good. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I got that mixed up. I thought this was 11 years ago. I thought this was 11 years ago. It looks like it. This is Skull and Bones. What the f***? So the next one is a set. This is Assassin's Creed. How does a okay? Let's check out the settlements. Let's see what happens when you go on a settlement, right? Look how embarrassing this is. This is 11 years from now. This is in 2024. Magically pops up on shore. Now this is Black Flag. You see a settlement? Huh? I want to go to that. Huh? I wonder how to get there. Am I going to teleport? Now I'm gonna walk off my ship like a normal fucking person with 11 year ago technology. And I'm just going to jump on shore, just like that. You want to go swimming in a pirate game, right? 
Yep, you see water? Huh, I wanna go swimming. Huh. What's happened to my legs? I can't go in, I can't get in the water. What the fuck? Why can't I swim to why can't I go to my ship? Huh, but Assassin's Creed eleven years ago. Oh, I could I could just walk in the water. I can swim. I can He could swim all the way to his ship. Hop in there, see his crew. Oh, would you look at this? Watch this. He's not done yet, though. Watch this. He gets to grab the wheel and just... You want to go explore islands and shit like that, too? Oh, yeah, you can't do that in Skull and Bones, but you can do that in Assassin's Creed. Well, every island you... And this is the same studio that made Skull and Bones. You just walk on shore. Uh, you can jump in water. You get to explore. Skull and Bones, you just... What the fuck is this PS2 water? Look at this shit. This is 11 years. The point that I'm making with this is the fact that why you keep shitting on this game? I'm shitting on this game for two reasons. And that's because it's not the only issue that's going on here. I'm going to show you something else too. Watch this. The Ubisoft is, I'm not just punching Ubisoft. I'm punching the industry. This is Suicide Squad versus Batman Arkham Knight. This is a different studio entirely. That's doing the same shit. Look at this. This is Suicide Squad, right? A game that came out in 2024. This is Batman Arkham Knight. This came out in 2013. This is 2013. And this is 2024. Oh, you want to swim? Sorry, you can't do that. But guess what, though? The only reason why it works in Batman is because Batman doesn't swim. He's Batman. So it just makes sense here. But I'm just saying in general. For Suicide Squad, you got King Shark, who's supposed to be able to swim. Wait, who's the other person? Boomerang, Harley Quinn, and you got um, Deadshot. King Shark at least should be able to swim. Nobody can swim in the game. Batman himself is not supposed to swim. He's not. You're not playing a Batman game to see who can have the farthest swim record. That's not what you're doing. But in Suicide Squad, there's no excuse. They just did not put the. They just did not put the mechanic in there. Oh, look at this. Looks boring as shit. And he just survived. <laughs> Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I feel like playing this game right now. I just said that. Stay grounded. Find your center. This is fucking embarrassing. This game looks like a PS2 game from the same. Enough shitting. Let me tell you why the reason this shit is going on to begin with it's because of budgets and the reason why um i'm saying that is because when triple a game studios started to become a top commodity right to where every studio wanted to make these big budget games they wanted to hire the best actors they wanted to have movie games all this type of stuff right to where it became more mainstream you added more money into the industry and what happens is you have more money for bigger projects for projects and stuff like this right so what happens when you have more money when investors are putting more money into a project? That's a real question. I kind of want you guys to think about it for a second. What's the reason why? What happens is the fact is investors want a return on their money, which in turn means creating type of temperament to where creative people can't be creative anymore. Because if there's a track record of something working, they don't want you to experiment. They want you to stay within the boundaries. And that's why you have having all these games that aren't innovating when it comes to gaming styles, when it comes to new mechanics, when it comes to new um, sort of things that goes on with the game. They stick to a formula now because they because the investors see on paper that this shit works. And what's happening now between the gamers and the game communities, the gaming companies, is the fact that you got corporate fighting against the fans because the corporates are seeing one thing. This thing, okay, our numbers are, this works if we put microtransactions here. This works if we put bigger budgets right here. If we make this a AAA, AAA game, we put more money into it. We have a bigger world, but there's no fucking substance. Because we've seen it a hundred thousand times before. So that's the reason why this, this, is, this shit is happening is because investors, you're just seeing what the investors want. You're not seeing what the gamers want. And that's the reason why nothing is growing. So that's why I don't mind shitting on stuff like this. Because I already know 
this shit right here is going to continue and continue and continue because you guys are going to keep buying these games. But the one thing that I like is the fact that, let me show you guys this article right quick. They finally had to say this. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League fell short of expectations according to Warner, Warner Brothers. They wasn't going to admit this at first because they couldn't. Because there was a couple dudes, I'm pretty sure you guys actually saw my uh, my post that I made not too long ago. The um, I think it was an artist from Arkham Knight. The game that looked extremely better than Suicide Squad and it was made 10 years ago, right? He was a part of that game. And he actually made a comment on Twitter basically saying that, hey, well, let me just pull it up on the screen right now. But he actually said, hey, told you so. Because they got rid of him. Because he wouldn't follow suit on where the company was going. But he actually knew where the basics were. And he was actually the person who's speaking for us. They don't like that anymore because it's not investor friendly. Especially the people who are funding these games. Especially since you know when I said in my last video with Sweet Baby. This is a while ago too. Damn, it, it, it came full circle, didn't it? And then we got the game that looks like absolute shit. I just watched this trailer to this game too. The Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. This game is going to be shit anyway. And now I know why. We worked on script writing, banter, cutscenes. Barks, I don't know what that is, audio logs, maybe collectibles in the game where you collect audio logs and shit like that. They probably have sensitivity and inclusion banter in the game. So I said this before this game even came out and look what happened. I already knew this game was going to be shit because I knew whose hand was in it. It's the same with everything that's going on right now when it comes to Ubisoft. What is the studio called? Rocksteady? I already knew this shit was going to happen. And my man's knew what was going to happen too. And it's a big fuck you I told you so. For them to admit this, this is a big W for us. Because now they're going to have to start realizing if you keep going down this path, you're going to fucking lose money. And that's the only way that they listen to it. It's not about morality shit. It's not about, oh, you're doing the wrong thing. No, you just need to show them that if you take this route, you're going to lose fucking money. One plus one equals two. It's very fucking simple. So that's all you guys have to do. Keep doing what you're doing right now. Because even on Steam, this game has less than a thousand players and it just came out two weeks ago. Compared to Hell Divers, which is, <laughs> they had to raise the fucking cap to that to the servers for how many people are coming there. They had to raise it to seven hundred thousand. God damn! God. Have you ever heard of anybody playing the game on Steam or on PlayStation to where it reaches the point where it's seven hundred thousand people cap? They had to raise it from four hundred thousand to seven hundred thousand just to get people to come in the game. That's a good ass problem, and that's because they listen to fans. What a shocker! So my point with this, I'm going to keep on shitting on stuff like this. I'm going to keep on mentioning this, and I'm going to keep on bringing this up. Every time I see games um, completely fail like this, I think it's hilarious. I think Skull and Bones um, is a big um, disaster, and it's completely funny at the fact that it took 11 years from Black Flag to, um, to come out with this game, and they had the nerve to call it a quadruple. What the fuck does that even mean? A quadruple A game. Quadruple A. Triple A, 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 piece of shit. What a fucking idiot. This guy is so out of touch with reality, it's not even funny. That's the reason why we need to show him with money that, hey, you think this is one thing, but we think it's another thing. We're not going to pay for it if, you don't, if you're not going to listen to us. It's as simple as that. Let these people fail, keep on embarrassing themselves, and it's just going to be something for me to laugh at. I'm going to create a video and, and talk about the shit every fucking time I see this shit fail. The one thing that Suicide Squad and Skull and Bones showed us is the fact that we are effective. Who would have known? Take your power back. That's all I got. Quadruple A.